I'm not the biggest fan of Charlie Dog, but I was looking forward to A Hound for Trouble because it set in Italy. I thought this would be a different kind of narrative, a change of pace. But honestly, I didn't really care for it. This is a 1951 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Chuck Jones and written by Michael Maltese with voices provided by Mel Blanc, Michael Maltese and Marion Richmond. And Charlie Dog is in Italy and the majority of this takes place in a, in a restaurant and he, he works as a waiter and there's this very stereotypical character, a uh, customer who he kind of just torments. He doesn't necessarily mean to torment him, he's just being Charlie Dog, but it's kind of annoying and honestly, it's well animated. Credit where it's due, the animation quality is good, the pacing is good, but the actual events in the narrative, I just, I didn't think for that engaging, I didn't like it, I don't think they utilised the Italian setting as much as they can, as they can, largely because it was indoors in a restaurant, whereas a lot of Italian architecture uh, is is obviously really beautiful. I'm I'm generalising, but most Italian based cartoons or Italian versions of British and American cartoons will show some gorgeous architecture in animation form, and it just it didn't seem to take advantage of that, and instead it went for cheap humour, which didn't really hit the mark. I didn't think it was very good at all. So sure, I'm not the biggest fan of Charlie Dog, there was always going to be that, but they could have done so much more with this and it could have been so much more interesting, so much more engaging, and I just feel like it, it missed the mark at pretty much every opportunity. So it's not badly animated, the pacing isn't bad either, but the actual cartoon? Not one that I'd recommend.